Okay, okay, guys, I'm going to be 100% honest with you. I made a big mistake by downloading Valorant because I was constantly getting this error right in here for 24 hours. I could not fix it. I searched the whole internet, whole Reddit, whole GitHub, and finally, I reached to the point that I am here to tell you I fixed it. We're good. We're good. And I'm going to tell you how you can fix that as well. So make sure to watch this tutorial throughout the end and follow all your steps throughout uh, this video. So without any further ado, let's get down to business. So first off, what you want to do is that you just want to search for Valorant down in the search bar and click on open file location. Just click on it. And once again, because this is the shortcut, right click on it again, click on open file location once again. Okay. Right click on Riot Client Services and show more option because I'm on Windows 11. Click on Properties if you're on Windows 10. And then just click on Compatibility tab and make sure that this box is enabled. Okay, run this program in Compatibility mode for Windows 8. And once again, run this program as an administrator. Make sure all these boxes are enabled. Okay, these two. Okay. Hit on apply. Okay. So at this point, you want to get back a folder by one. Click on Riot Games. So this point, click on Valorant. Okay. Then live. So right click on Valorant, the game itself. Show more options. Then properties, compatibility. And do the same thing for these boxes as well. Run this program in compatibility mode for Windows 8. Enable this and run this program as an administrator enable this as well hit on ok and then you should open settings and just type ms info or alternatively spot on search for system information right click on it and under the section of system summary what should be focusing is first off is bias mode your bias mode should be set to uefi okay not GPT or MBR or even legacy mode, none of them above. It should be set to bias mode. In my case, I've got no problem with this. And then after this, under the secure boot state, it definitely should be set to on. So here's the problem in my case, okay? It has set to off. And that's the reason that I'm getting this error. So in order to fix this error, we should enter the bias mode in our computer in our motherboard in order to enter bias mode first off what we're going to do is that we're just going to type down our motherboard models in my case my motherboard is z490 manufactured by aces and then we're just going to straight up type bias button right it says to enter bias setup on startup press delete or f2 in my case in my motherboard right your motherboard might be different okay and you even might be using a laptop. So in that case, you need to search your model, laptop model, and then the manufacturer of it, straight up search bias button, right? So down there in the description, I'm gonna put down different buttons how you can enter the bias mode. So to continue the tutorial, let's just head over to the bias mode environment. So as you can see in almost every motherboard or laptop, you will see the exact button to enter BIOS upon resetting the device. So here we are in the forbidden and almighty BIOS itself. So we should search for boot section first off. So inside boot section, I want you to disable CSM, compatibility support module if available, just by clicking on it and turn it off. And finally, here's the reason of Valorant error in front of our eyes. I want you to select Windows UEFI mode in front of OS type and for the secure boot mode, I want you to select standard. And if by any chance you could not find the boot section in your motherboard, you can simply try the search section and type secure boot. And after changing our desired elements, we're done in here. So we're just going to click save and exit and we're good to leave BIOS for a good Valorant gaming journey. So as you can see, now the BIOS mode is on UEFI and secure boot state is enabled. I should not have any problem whatsoever from now on. So please like this video if this video helped your problem and please subscribe to my channel. It means a lot to me because I'm a small YouTuber and I truly need your support. And thank you so much for watching and peace out.